Hello and welcome to Sanctuary Educate podcast, where we will talk all things mindset, money management and our entrepreneurial journey. Along the way, we're going to throw in some amazing guests for your pleasure. I'm Shane Highland. I'm Gareth Shears. This show is going to change your life and teach you skills that school never taught you. Boom. Oh, this is this is getting a bit boring. What is? Another weekend of rugby. Oh, let's not another do that. Welsh loss. Another Irish win. Oh. It's, it's becoming it's becoming monotonous. All right. Do you know what somebody said to me in the gym this morning? They went, oh, "This boy's in his seventies, John. Oh, you boys are doing well. You're on a wave." And I said, "Yeah, but every four years, our wave, right? It gets bigger and bigger and bigger until October, and then it crashes." <laughs> so. No, nah, no, nah, this is different now. Yeah, totally different side. When I was watching them play on the weekend, it's, it's a totally different side. People probably don't want to hear about rugby again. United won the, the Carabao Cup yesterday. I don't know who won the horse racing. What the hell is that? Carabao Cup? It's the, uh, the League Cup uh, for football. It's oh, right. four comp- anyway. Wrong shape ball. I would not have a clue. <laughs> Chat today, because me and you have maybe difference of opinions in leasing. <laughs> and more specifically, car leasing. Although, yeah. do you know what I did see on the weekend? I was be warmer in the car, and it would be in this blinking office know, at the minute. The landlord, he hadn't, he hadn't sorted out the um. The and he, paid his bills, I think. <laughs> he probably listened to this and no, quit apologising. <laughs> no, the the boiler's packed in, so it's like typically it's like one degree outside today. You know, When's I, the summer coming? We're officially still in winter, aren't we? Till the end of the month. Well, no, well, it's, 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 really, really? yeah. It's almost March. That's spring, isn't it's it? Summer, isn't it? Spring. I don't know seasons. Honestly. Um, talking about leasing, which we're going to, I was in the museum in Cardiff yesterday and they have a BBC, um, what thing I'm called? Show. Um, in where? In the museum. What, it's in, like the history of the BBC? Yeah. Really? Going back to the 50s and they have a mock up of um, a living room from the 70s. Oh, with the TV, like the and the the furniture and all that it looked like our house uh, back in the eighties. What now? Like a, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it showed different things, and one of them was on about leasing um, TVs, and it was something like two hundred quid for a, a oh, yeah, TV. Because that was like who did that? Because a load of the rugby players, the Pony Preed worked for a company. No, it? no, bef- even before that, I know who you're on about there. It? They sponsored the Celtic Warriors, didn't they? For by 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 as you view, by as you view, something like that. that, something like Neil that. Neil Jenkins was like their. Um, Business development manager or something like that. But this was going back, back to the days. 70s or 60s where it was 200 quid for a TV, but not many people took it up because you had to pay more for black and white, or sorry, for a colour licence than a black and white. Yeah, you did, yeah. And then it went on to the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and they even had a the TV news um, stage from the last day in Landaff, along with the camera. So you can sit, the kids can sit there and oh, they really? have scripts and you can read the script as you're a newsreader oh, and all that. That's really cool. good. But yeah, they're leasing in on that. Leasing. See, we have a different... lease anything these days. You can lease anything, can't you? You can virtually lease your takeaway the way uh, things like Clan, Clan, Clan are. Clan, yeah. yeah. Let's not go into that. Yeah, I think I'd bore everyone with that every week. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you start, did you know? Yeah, yeah, we already know. We already know. <sighs> but... There's so many cars or new cars on the road now. That's you can't buy a second hand one. Because <laughs> they it difficult to hold off. <laughs> but there is there is the, the issue that everyone wants to keep up with the Joneses and you want to buy new because we all want to buy new. And I'm not standing here trying to preach to somebody which way leasing is good or bad because we all want to have the, the newest and the best of everything, me included. And I I've only like, had two new cars in my life. I, I've had about four, but they were bit work cars and all that. But I'm like a kid in a toy shop when I see a new car and that. So I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, yeah. you don't. But when you look at the numbers, so many people want or drive expensive cars at the moment. And I'm going to make a sweeping statement that I think a lot of them are leased because if you see... Any kind of electric car seems to be twice the price of a normal. So many Teslas out there and all that. Mm. And I, I'm, I'm just putting my hand up and saying I think not many people are spending seventy grand cash on a Tesla and stuff. So, so I why think a would lot, you? Of, a lot of people are why, leasing. Why them. would you 
chuck 70 grand at a car. No, but that's what I'm saying. I think a lot of people are leasing. Most people haven't got 70 grand to buy a no. car. Most people haven't got five grand to buy a car. With. No, but they still lease. Yeah, because you don't have to find five grand. But my whole point is... The reason you lease is because you can have a new car instead of paying £8,000 for a second-hand car, which will break down in a couple of weeks' time. No, well, that's They're the ones you see on the side statement. of the road. No. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Well, then again, you do see new ones and you break down. They're the ones that had the big badge on them, you know, that, that cost eighty. You get the grand. warranty. You get... Generally get service in these days with new cars. No, you don't. You pay for that. No, you don't. They generally come with them now. Oh. My second hand, my, my Audi came with um, two years worth of service in. Second hand. A standard with Audi. Yeah, second hand. You bought it. Yeah, but my dad's new ones, free service in. I think you I think you have with a lot. Right. Not, here, all, not all people, I, though. I, I'm going to try come on, and then. make a point. Right, here, here you go. I'm, I'm going to use two cars of a similar... Thing because you can't compare a, a, an Audi A1 and a Tesla because they just they're not right. A, nope. Mer- a Mercedes, a C class Merc. Oh, I had one of those nice cars, still going. Someone's it, driving around Caffili now, you see, uh, and it's a second hand car and it doesn't break down. Well, it's a Mercedes, isn't it? Th- that's why I picked the Mercedes. Don't buy a BMW. Th- that's why I've picked the Mercedes, right? C class Merc, brand new, out of the wrapper, 43,000 pounds. Yep, okay, okay. Checked earlier on, lease is £5,509 down as a lump sum. Okay? Yeah. As That's a, not standard, though, is it? Okay. That can be different. Leasing, then, over 48 months. Yeah. So, what is it? 612 22 a month. 48 wow, months. that's gone up loads. I paid £330 before, a month. A month before a month. that. Now, I know you can get them if you're a business and all that. Seven thirty four sixty six a month with VAT. On a C class forty three grand wow. Merc. I, I was paying three eighty for mine, and mine's mine was an old sixty two plate. They've gone up. And it's so the cost of for in reason. four years, you have paid forty eight times seven thirty four sixty six plus the five five oh nine oh nine. You have paid in the four years on your forty grand car forty three grand car forty thousand seven hundred and seventy two pounds. Or more than it's actually worth? Slightly. I can't be right. What's the what's the asset value of the car then after the four years? Well, it'll be less than fifty percent. Well, it's zero for you, isn't it? Because you're having to give it back if you're leasing it. Yeah, but you got an option to sell it on, don't you? Yeah, but you have to buy. You have to find more cash. Yeah, now. you're but, gonna think. But, yeah, but but if if you, it's if, not your car. At the if end. you do nothing, you're giving that back. Wow, is that the price of leasing these days? No, a t- a twenty twenty C class mark. So. Two and a half, three years old. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With 32,000 miles, yes. so it's okay. 24 grand. Okay. Now, put your 5509 down, the same mm. lump sum as the lease. So we're trying to compare apples 19, and apples. 19 grand. You have something like 18, 18 four of a loan. 4.9%. I checked it today. I know everyone won't get that. I know, I know. Um, you'd be like, if you get that, you'd be like, if you get 9%. I got, like I got offered it this morning. All right. Uh, four two four a month. Okay. Oh. Forty eight times four two four plus your deposit is twenty five eight six five. You've paid. Depre- but you probably wouldn't even have to put a deposit into that either. No. Being a second, like, I have to but I was trying to just compare, which still be cheaper than like, buying like the for like. One. Now de- depreciate ten percent a year compounded. So take ten percent off the twenty four. Depreciate should be less than a second hand anyway, wouldn't it? Your your asset at the end. Is seventeen four six. Seventeen sorry, fifteen seven four six. So I understand th- th- my whole point is to almost to say to people, I think we all chase having the nicety of the, the twenty three yeah. plate and some of like that. And I'm guilty as I, I, I I'm like a is a jackdaw blackbird. I love the shiny new things. So mm. I'm not saying it's the wrong thing. But when you do the numbers on that... Yeah, but a good two-year, two year, three-year-old car is still going to be nice inside. Absolutely. That's my whole point. And you said earlier about if it breaks down, warranties, £800 a year maximum on that Merc is yeah. an extra £66 a month. Nothing goes wrong. And those Mercedes go for years. They'll go on and, and on. And on. other than the MOT... Which is, what, 35 you, quid? Yeah. You're still having to pay the same unless you add in as extras, tyres, servicing, and all that. So, you know, you're paying... 15 grand more over four years 
And at the end of four years, you've got 15 grand of an asset against nothing. So the difference is technically 30 grand yeah. in four years. So hence my point, I understand the concept of leasing and I, I've I've done it myself over years. But when you throw down the numbers and they're not exact, fine, one of them might be a 1.9 litre and the other one might be a 2 litre. But as a comparison, C-class Mercs and that, which as you say, go forever and ever. Yeah, yeah. The, the cost of leasing is astronomical now. So when wow. you see all of these brand new cars out there. And that's going to be down to the cost of financing, isn't it? Yeah. But it shows that the cost of lifestyle is very, very expensive at the moment. Wow. Because... If somebody needs a car for work, that's a living expense. Well, you can buy the same C-Class Merc three years older to get you from home to work and back for 30 grand less over four years than buying the car. It is lovely having the brand new car. So uh, looking at those lease figures, right, it'd be cheaper for you to get a loan if you get one for for 38,000. Probably you struggle to get that. Well, you can probably get a car finance with a well, no, it's the same with a balloon at the end. It'll probably be better. Yeah, would probably be cheaper than leasing that anyway. Yeah, Th- there's loads of different options, isn't there, for the lease? Yeah, well, it's the same. The same with the it's second hand one. There are some options at that age of car. I think up to seven years, you can you can they can put like a HP type finance, which yeah. has got a balloon on the end, which means your monthly payments will be less. So, but it just it just shows, you know, the whole point is I think people are living. Everyone seems to be complaining about the cost of living, and all you hear is at least six times a day the cost of living. That's an example of it isn't the cost of living; that's the cost of lifestyle. I oh, want yeah, a shiny 100%. new thing. You know? I get that. I get people want to have shiny new cars. And I do. Yeah, yeah. I. Do you know it is nice to have a new car. I say I've only ever to most of mine have been kind of second hand. You know I I generally change my car every two to three years. And you know that feeling when you go there and they give you the keys and it's all clean. There's no there's eight miles on it and you drive off and, and you drive around and you're playing with the buttons that's a lovely feeling mm. bloody expensive though you know it's it shows it costs something yeah and 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 actually to probably go against what I kind of said in the instance about cars second hand cars breaking down new cars can break down as well and I've kind of seen it I've had the experience with the last car that I had where how many times did it go in for recalls and it wasn't the breaking, breaking down, down right? it was more so the boot opening, you know, on its own oh, yeah, on a regular that. basis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Park up in Cardiff City Centre, come back, your boot's wide open, and luckily no one has stolen all my stuff out of there. And the more bo- so, it seems to only open, it's a bit like the wipers, it was automatic. When the rain came, bang. Oh, it did, didn't oh. it? Yeah. I remember waking up in the morning outside the house and the boot of my car was wide open, and they couldn't find out what a problem was. Well, I said, there is a problem, because this is what happens all the time. And the other, the other one was the... Um, the water tank for the windscreen washers, right? The way they positioned it, and it was a design fault that the the piping, the way it kind of went, that you could only fill it up by dribbling water, and it take you about two hours to fill your water tank up. It was just, it was the first version of the X three, the new model X three in two thousand and eighteen, and it was hands down the worst car I've ever had. Sound like a tractor, genuinely. You, you turn the car around. It was like literally was like a tractor. I, ho- I hope you Chris cuts in. that little bit, and we're going to use it on a regular oh, yeah. basis. <laughs> yeah, right. It was literally a tractor. Worst car ever. You did first more... BMW I ever had. Yeah, last one. Never going to buy one ever again. Sorry, BMW, but awful. Service is awful. Went back in the end. Actually, in fairness, after my numerous um, conversations with them, they took the car back. Yeah. Part way through, didn't they? Was it? I only added eighteen months. And yeah. they took it back because it was don't, don't, looked nice. The sitting was nice. It was pretty comfy, actually, in fairness. But performance, it literally, it was yeah. There was just so many problems with it. And my last draw is when it had a recall for something. I can't remember what it was. It was another recall. I think it was about my sixth recall in eighteen months for something wrong with it. So the main thing that it was designed to do, i.e get you from A to B just didn't work. The radio worked, the Bluetooth, the the comfort and all that. They aesthetically looked great, but the whole concept of the car putting fuel into it to get you to a, a destination just didn't work. Yeah, no, it didn't. It's like <laughs> having a mobile phone which can't make phone calls off. 
that's most phones anymore, isn't it? Because they're great at everything else. Well, well yeah, they're, not, they're, just, they're just social can media. I, can I just, just have a Nokia phone again? They might as well just call them social media phones, social media um, tablets, haven't they? Because that's all they really are for people now, isn't it? But you remember those yeah. old Nokia That's bricks. why I was called the hump on the back but, of their neck. It's not from being a um, front row forward playing rugby. It's, um, it's from scrolling like that. Yeah. Everyone no- does. Do you remember the Nokias? Social with the, media with net. Snake. Do you remember the game Snake? You know, it never went wrong. You could throw it in water, it could fall on the floor. Oh, I never had the attention span for games. I was never good at games. I didn't have the attention span. Yeah, that's that's another thing for me. Um, games. Do you, no, you no I don't have attention span. Well, no, you don't have attention span. <laughs> but um, games. You were any good at games? No, do you know what? I was useless. There's a friend of mine. He came over for the rugby two weeks ago. We brought the rugby up again. Sorry, Wales. Um, and when we were living in Ireland, when we got about 16, 17, he got some money. And he bought an Xbox, the very first one. And because our house had a small, slightly bigger TV than his, and we had two TVs in our house, that, um, his parents went, go up to Shane. And he came most evenings and we played the game. I'll be honest, I was absolute a call of duty. You know, people are all, they, they can do this and they're brilliant. I was useless at it. I got killed more often than I Never killed any of those games. No good at it. I can't remember. The most I ever did was on a... What was um, Daley Thompson's um, like Olympic athletics thingy, which was literally on the computer to suppress the like X and Y Z, but on a on a on a like keyboard on the acorn. So there wasn't much effort, and it. it was just like X Y X Y X. Yeah, we the legs going fast. Oh, that, you know what I mean? But um, I never never into gaming. I I had a Game Gear, right? But this <laughs> it just sums it up. I had a Game Gear. But I got the TV tuner attachment for it so I could watch TV on it, not use it for games. I used to play Sonic Hedgehog and that was about it. But I didn't have the hand eye coordination. But, but I had no I'm, interest. I'm good. I have for golf. I can fire a ball and all that. But I don't. That hand eye coordination of, of watching a screen and press. Just no good at it. I'm no. absolutely no good at it. I never tried. And my boy now has. He's got a little um, Nintendo Switch. And nine weeks ago, he could not do anything. He was like, ugh. I tell you what, he's like, ding, 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 ding. He's like, how can you learn something so quickly? Mm. I tried it a few weeks ago. I was useless, right? It's like, B. Uh, yeah, you. if you spent enough time he doing does. it. <laughs> that's what I mean. But if you spend enough time doing it, you'd be, you'd be able to use it. You can use an iPhone, can't you? Just about. Too well, my wife says. <laughs> <laughs> um, I... Um, yeah, never, never, never a big thing for me gaming. I kind of and you can lease them as well. Oh God, you lease bloody everything, can't you? It's not getting to that. But it, no, it goes back to early. Do you know what? It it is one of those things that aesthetically you want things to look nice, and new cars always look lovely because they're a new shape. Everyone takes notice of them. Add in, you know, a new color or a, a color that's different to the norm. Or an internal pack that looks nice. Like you had a nice dark, was it dark oh, it was, red Yeah, interior? I chose the interior. Didn't I? That, that was, it was nice. Like a, it was like a reddy brown, yeah. wasn't it, the seats? So, you know, you have something like that. And everyone t- Actually a little bit like the walls. Everyone looks at it, they take attention, and you kind of feel good about it yourself. It was nice. But, but, do you know what? It was like from a aesthetic point of view, it looked, they looked nice yeah. as well, the shape of them. Um, because the old x used to be a bit boxy, and I didn't really like them. Um, but the new shape was it just just didn't run as a but but, but my father in law had exactly the same car he gave his back as well same problems so just, it wasn't just a kind of an isolated incident I think they were a bit of a problem car well judging by the amount of recalls they had some Mercedes I should but I, I my Mercedes was great it's probably long as I kept the car three welcome years. to the Sanctuary Educate podcast sponsored by Mercedes <laughs> God that'd be nice. Let me take Mercedes as a sponsor. Do you like Mercedes? They give you one of those little smart. Are they? Are they yeah, Mercedes? I'll take any. Are they Mercedes? Or they BMW? Take any. I bought my car now. It's two years old, isn't it? It's two years old now. Bored already. Well, here's an idea. Every after, two years, bored after car. listening to my numbers, time to buy now, not lease. You no, know, that's second hand. There you go. That was 12, 18 months old when I bought it. Yeah. So, trade in, put your that. 5509 down. You can get a lovely C-class mark. Can I borrow Never. the 5509, please? 
and we get four four twenty four a month. There you go. Nice. Don't e- don't need to be borrowing your buying your brand new car. Some guy will clean it out so it looks like new. But they usually are only picking up second hand, don't they? Put a warranty on it. Don't need to do yeah, anything yeah, else. Yeah. Nice. It'll save you thirty grand over the next um four so years. It's a lot of cash, isn't it? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of cash. That's that, that's a year and a half of, I, of ISA money, or it's a deposit on a, a buy to let. And, you know, mm. they, they're big numbers. They're, they're, over such a short 48 month period, that's a life changing amount of money that God, can allow it? you to, oh, God, to set yourself is. up for the future. See, Leasing used to be pretty good, didn't it? Do you yes. know what I mean? Like, kind of, like, that was the first new car I had. I leased, actually. That was my Mercedes. That was a lease. So before you buy, look at, before you buy, Sorry, before you lease, you you were going down as a try before you buy them, weren't you? That's I what you're yeah. thinking of. Totally different. I'm thing. still trying to remember that that place in Pontiac. I know they were on the the jersey. I want to say it's buy as you view. That's probably wrong. They were on the jersey of Pontypri, yeah. didn't they? Or was it Celtic Warriors? One, no, the, one, well, no, it was so it's Ponty first, and then um, did he did he did the guy behind that by Celtic Warriors? I can't remember. I know the the one. No, it's definitely it's Pony Preeth originally because all the Pony Preeth players, well, a lot of them actually were employed by. By it could, could well be. There we are. Speak to you next week when Wales have lost the fourth game in a row. Oh, there's no game next week, so we can't lose. Thankfully, <laughs> it's a week off and another week off. So you 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 can't lose next week, and then it'll be I assume it's two on the trot then. Yes. Then Super Saturday, the final one. Thanks for listening. And if you enjoyed this episode, then please subscribe and remember to follow us on social media for more content like this.